It's a delight today to welcome Reverend Dr. Martha Creek. Words like humorous, loving, and especially dynamic sum up her personality and the gifts that she shares. We had a great time with her at the affiliated New Thought Network conference at Unity Village this past October. Many of you had the chance to meet her and or at previous conferences. It's a delight to have her come and share what the Spirit has laid upon her heart to inspire us. We're thrilled that as we end this year and we begin 2019, a year of new beginnings, to have someone with us from the board of directors of the affiliated New Thought Network. We're delighted to partner with this incredible group of worldwide of congregations and to be part of such an ex ex expansive visionary group that sees the message of the wonderful Christ consciousness being shared around the world. So with that, would you do a favor for me? And let's welcome Reverend Dr. Martha Creek with a warm applause and lots of great love. Step ahead of me in thanking him by taking that offering. So how about a round of applause for this leader and this, this minister who's been called 19 years at this. And you're hard-pressed anymore to find one. Look around. Like the life of a minister, those called, which I believe you are minister too. I believe we're all ministers. And I believe that minister is a verb, not a noun. So it's how we're being in the world, how we're serving in the world, and how we're called to serve in the world, and then who is the congregation, our workplaces, our families, our neighborhoods, children, these homeless that you're serving and feeding and clothing and making possible some warmth in their mind, body, soul, and spirit. So the life of a minister, you can look this up. Anybody want to guess? How long ministers make it in the field on average? Less than five years. Less than five years. So to have a leader, not only to have a calling and a large vision, one that most people can't see, way too big for other people to comprehend or to even believe is possible, and then the stamina, the stamina, the faith, the determination, and the craziness to stay the course <laughs> even when it cannot be seen or heard or touched. You know, and Charles Fillmore des describes faith as that, that which is unseen. Going in the direction of that that is unseen and a faith that even though I cannot see it, I'm going to go in that direction. So think about that then as you go into this new year for you. What is it you're wanting? If I said I'll give you a prize to list 101 things you want, how long would it take you to get them down? Could you just lay out 101 things you want? And then what stops us from doing that? What stops us from wanting or for being okay with wanting? What stops you from wanting? This, fear, ego, judgment, the past. Messages from the past, patterns. In my household, growing up, age three, it was not okay to want. Can you relate to this? My mother, a true Southern woman, would say, want in one hand and blank in the other one and see which one gets full quickest. So where do you think that left wanting? And then when we've wanted and we have a long list of wanting and we're treating for what we want and praying for what we want, 
and then it doesn't manifest, it doesn't demonstrate, where does that leave you? Doubt? Confusion? Even worry? Even panic and terror? Like if this isn't so, and if my best techniques and strategies and my most powerful prayer and my most carefully crafted worded treatment doesn't demonstrate, doesn't bring forth, doesn't manifest as I desire, what will this say? Not worthy. What else? It won't work. It doesn't work. What else? You don't deserve it. There's not enough. What else? So the message today, I hope, is going beyond that. Going beyond that mind into an infinite mind, into a clear mind, into a mind that has balance that can enter that can experience this thinking you're not enough not enough not enough not enough there's not enough you don't deserve it you're not lovable it won't work why bother that can have thoughts like that and not be under their effects would that be okay with you If you could have that kind of mind running, those kinds of thoughts appearing, and you not be under their effects, would that be okay with you? This is not a rhetorical question. Would it be okay with you? Yes. yes. Now get a sense of it. Get a sense of it in your body. What it would be like to have these thoughts flying in, flying in, flying in, rising up, tormenting, causing confusion, doubt, bewilderment. What it would be like to observe that and not absorb it. To observe the thinking, to observe the pattern of the thinking, the belief system, which I call BS, the belief system, the belief system that's operating like that, that we inherited in many ways. Little kids didn't know that this was false thinking. Little kids didn't know to question. Little kids didn't know to inquire what we did to a certain point. Have you noticed little kids? They're in their own world. And then the mind is born, this mind, not infinite mind, not divine mind, but this mind, the fear mind, is born, and now they're under the spell. Seeking love, seeking approval, seeking to be okay, seeking to be seen, seeking to be a somebody, and now unaware that their power is inherent power that it does not lie outside of them and that your value and my value is inherent. It does not come from another. It cannot come from another. Then if somebody likes me, loves me, respects me, it's a bonus. But I'm not dependent See if you can get a sense of this. What it would be like to awaken today as you step out of this, as you step out of an old thinking, an old way of being in the world, an old way of being in relationships, an old way of being with you, of what it would be like to step into then a new paradigm, a new reality, a new universe of my power and my value is inherent that it's beyond what the mind would tell me it's beyond the BS of the patterned mind 
this is what the scripture refers to. That what I am creating is not of me. What I am creating is from an infinite field of creation. Of thy will be done. So then, if I don't get to pick what gets done, where does it leave me when it gets done? Any of you ever had anything to happen to you that you didn't love? Anybody? Anybody had anything done to you that you didn't like? Throw your hand up in the air. Like, yep. Sure enough, did. So now, in that... Not trying to love what is. No longer trying to like what is. Who would you be if you related to what is differently? If you related to what is like your vision statement. That I am here to be a beacon of light. I'm here as the city of light, this city of light. The only city of light somebody may ever attend. They may never walk through these walls. You may be the, Charles Fillmore said routinely, you may be the only church anybody attends. So then when it happens what I don't like, when it happens what I don't love, when it happens what I didn't pick, When it happens what I didn't pray for, how could you be with that differently? How could you be with that experience differently starting today? Say it out loud. Less focus. I would not give it so much attention. How else would you be? More at peace about it. Like, I didn't pick this. I don't love this. I don't like this. And this is what appeared. So my power lies in how I'm going to relate to this. All the power in the universe is mine, and it's mine to relate to this or fall under its spell. To make it the focus, to give it all the attention, to be a victim of it. Does this sound easy? So let's imagine now, practically, you start to leave here today. It's been a fantastic service somewhere over the rainbow. I release and I let go. I'm a beacon of light, a city of light, serving the world as a city of light. Woo, I feel good. If I was any better, I'd be twins. And then there's a flat tire on your car. What does it say? Some of you are advanced. Uh Just before you were advanced, just before you studied new thought, what would it say? It's awful! What else would it say? Why me? Don't get ahead of me. Why me? Look! Nobody else had a flat tire. Then if you're not careful, shame. I should have been thinking. I should have paid attention to this. I should have, I should have, I should have. Then guilt. Can you relate? And then, now do you think you created that flat tire? This is a misunderstanding and new thought. Like, oh, look what I created. Well, if you had a power to create a flat tire, you'd have the power to inflate it. (laughs) Woo! But instead, the law of the physical requires air to go in the rubber. Darn it. The magic wand means some kind of physical action. So then are you going to stay there and pray air into that tire? Or are you going to get a hose? 
and put some air in that tire. But then, what would a I have released and let go mind look like? What would it look like to be beyond the mind, to beyond this being affronted, being so affected? I heard it from some of you. Who here can help me? It would be collaborative. Do you know anything about flat tires? I have one. Do you have a cell phone? Do you have triple A? It would be all about solution. It is deflated reality. I desire inflation. Air in a tire. Who here, how would a sane, sensible person approach this? Inflation. Off to the party we go. Then what will we talk about on the way to lunch? If you don't catch it. What will it talk about all the way to the party? Flat tire. Can you believe it still? In the middle of the winter, New Year's Eve nearly. Flat tire. Why me? Let's get this out of our system. We're about to have a bowl service. So raise up one of your hands or both. Lay it right on your forehead. This is the victim salute. Oh! This is what we're dealing with. You may as well laugh. Then eventually, through your week, you can catch it maybe. Oh, this is the victim salute. Why me? Why me? Now, fun party. Got a cool present. Look, somebody brought a present for me to give away that I didn't have to buy or wrap. <laughs> Then we're ready to go home. Get on that phone. What are we going to talk about on the phone? You'll never believe it. Right in the middle of church. Then we go off to our offices and, and things tomorrow. If you don't catch it, what's it going to talk about tomorrow morning? Then this is the power of of the BS. So then, where does it leave you? One little episode, one little occurrence, one little something that becomes one, 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 one. So then, this is who I become, the person that had the flat tire in the middle of the winter. Nobody else had one. Late for the party. Got dirt on my britches. It'll just add, 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 add to it. If we don't catch it, if we don't go beyond the mind to say, hey, hey, there's another option for me. There is another option for me. And I have the power and the privilege and the responsibility as a student of truth as a leader in new thought, as a beacon of light for the world, I have a right and a responsibility to break out of this old way of being and to create a new way of being in the world. To create a new way of being with flat tires and a new way of being when I don't get what I want. a new way of feeling, a new way of thinking. Have you heard it? Change your, change the thinking, change the life. Change the thinking, change the experience. So I am creating, not flat tires, but I'm creating my experience of the flat tire. And innocently, if I don't go beyond this. Now, measure your life like this, ever how old you are. 
Some of you have to go up here. So how old are you? 50, 40, 70? Yeah, have a little fun with this. So how old are you? Put your hands up. This is kinesthetic learning. Mm -hmm. Now, in that lifespan, how many flat tires were they? In this amount of years, how many flat tires were they? This many years, 50 years, 58 years in this case, times 365, times the minutes in the day, where's the flat tires? Now, what's it looking at? So what it means to be blinded. I was blind and could not see. until I'm awake and then through grace and today's grace this New Year's grace to see rightly to see differently then it's a miracle think about it air and rubber on axles spinning at high speeds and velocity on Atlanta roadways. It's a miracle they're not all flat. <laughs> Instead of here and there, a flat one. The same thing then would apply to unemployment. Most of us have been employed this much and unemployed this much. We've had this much of years without diagnosis. And then diagnosis. What will it talk about if we don't go beyond this? To step back from this and to get a well-developed, broader perspective. So then when I'm seeing this and this, I'm going to have a different relationship with it. When I'm blinded by this, the logs in my eye, I cannot see. Blind, blind, blind. So take a big deep breath. Look around at somebody by you and tell them, hey, I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad you came today. Now look back at that same person and say, however, this message is for me. <laughs> however, this message is for me. This message today is for me. Now, before you leave here, somebody will cross you. They won't do it your way. The coffee will not be organized like you would. Whoever put that food out wasn't thinking. So there'll be no shortage of curriculum. How will you relate to it? Change what I can. Accept what I cannot. Know the difference. So where am I going to put the energy? To continue to beat my head up against a brick wall and wonder why my head is bleeding. And then blame the wall. Darn it. I am choosing again. Choose again. Pain or peace? Or beyond it? To go beyond it. God's omnipotence Life, if you don't call it God, then life's omnipotence. 
the universe's omnipotence. Created in you, 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 you me, the, the, a free will. So all the power in the world that we desire and seek is ours now. Here and now. And in every single situation. I have the freedom of mind which brought me forth. Can you say it? Freedom of mind which brought me forth. That which brought me forth. That which brought me forth. Is where my power and value lies. And value lies. And today... I know that mind. Today, I know that mind. I operate from that mind. I operate from that mind. And I choose that arena of mind. And I choose that arena of mind. So we celebrate then in joy and thanksgiving, this possibility for myself, for you, that this is not a standard run-of-the-mill Sunday service that this is a day of confirmation, a day of transformation, a day of transcendence, a day of going beyond the past that taught us and the value of being taught. It taught us what to do, and it taught us what not to do. And then a day then to say, on this day in 2018, I had a transformation a transcendent experience and I had it through grace and I have it on purpose I choose this and then together we begin begin new I love you I cannot help it I also love how I look in you I love how you're serving here I love that I was called here and placed here. And I know that calling and that placement was on purpose too. So I pray that you have been blessed through this message. And I know that some of you have been mentored by it. And some of you have been tormented by it. And I accept that too as a part of our full spectrum. And if there's ever a way that I can serve you, my calling, personal divine calling, is to serve those who serve. So you're free to get in touch with me, marthacreek.com, marthacreek at gmail.com. The number's there. So any way I can lift you up, serve you, serve with you, I'm all about it. And I would love, of course, to see you to come out there to that affiliated New Thought Network conference. Some of you came last year. And like your energy there, your presence there was um, like a, adding a big bouquet to something already beautiful, like a centerpiece in a bouquet of us in Anton. So it's a be beloved community full of fun, joy, grace, serving people serving, serving a true calling, fulfilling a their calling. Unity Village Campus is a mecca of new thought, a hundred years, gorgeous or architecture, all sorts of things, the business metaphysical bookstore east of the Mississippi, labyrinth, trails, walks, water, fountains, easy access, and a time for each of us, I think, to have renewal and remembrance of who we are and whose we are, and to practice our own principles to live open at the top and continuing then always to go beyond this and go and continue on in our direction of living beyond mine. And I look forward to seeing you wherever it is. And all blessings to you in all ways as you serve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.